Um, today's Friday, which is always exciting because that means that, you know, it's almost the weekend. But this Friday is extra exciting because Monday is Labor Day, which means I have a three-day weekend, which I'm always down for. I like cannot be mad at having a three-day weekend. I feel like every week should have a three-day weekend. We should be working for four days and have three days off. Like two days is just, it's just not enough, you know? <laughs> I don't have any like exciting plans for the weekend. Um, I'll be going home tomorrow because my parents wanted to just invite family over to swim if it's nice, which I don't think it will be. I think it's supposed to storm tomorrow and just have dinner and hang out and see the family. And then after that, actually for the next like, week and a half i think my parents are going to be like traveling to different places so i'm going to be bringing back their cat which i love their cat winnie is one of my favorite cats she's the cutest cat in the whole world um the sweetest cat in the whole world so i'm gonna have her for a while and you know i might as well just say it we'll see how this feels um i always hesitate to talk too much about this stuff because i try to be like as upbeat and happy and you know, I don't want to bring a bunch of negativity into videos like this because when I go to YouTube, I want to watch like stuff that makes me feel good, stuff that inspires me, um, stuff that relaxes me. And you know, there's a time and a place for heavier topics, I guess, especially if it's something that like makes us feel less alone or it's something that's been weighing on us. I think it helps to like watch other videos and see other people that are dealing with the same things. But I also have this hesitation of like, just talking about things that I'm dealing with just because, just in general, I'm a fairly private person. Like, the fact that I'm even making videos and that I've been doing this for a couple of years is different for me. Like, <laughs> I'm still uncomfortable talking about the fact that I do this in real life. And I only started this a couple of years ago because I was in a place, and I'm kind of still in that place where I spend a lot of time by myself, have a lot of things that I think about that are weighing on me or stuff that I'm excited about that I want to talk about, whatever it is. And just building this little community that we have here and me talking to a camera when I'm alone all the time having, I mean, there are days I go where I don't speak out loud. So like having people to talk to, having an outlet, um, you know, to say the things that I'm thinking about, whatever it is, has been really helpful for me. and. As weird as this is to me sometimes, as hard as it is to like admit that this is something that I'm doing, I maybe that's not the right word, but I do feel like there's a part of me that needs it and there's part of me that wants to talk to you about things that I wouldn't necessarily <laughs> tell people in real life, which is weird. Um, it's a weird dynamic because I'm very private just normally. So for me to like sit here and talk to a camera and upload it to the internet where anyone can watch it is so scary. <laughs> but at the same time, in some respects, it's easier to talk about it in this way than it is to tell people that I know. I'm just talking in circles at this point. Um, let me take a step back. These past couple of weeks have been different for me. Um, I haven't vlogged a lot because I've been dealing with some stuff and <laughs> just like health stuff. And it's nothing serious, at least as far as I know. But I might as well just say it because you're probably thinking the worst and it's not as bad as I'm making it sound. <laughs> Um, my digestive health has been through the roof lately. Um, my face has been breaking out way more than normal. Like, there hasn't been a point in the past two or three weeks where I haven't had spots on my face. Like, one leaves and two more pop up. Also, like, I've been gaining weight, which is different for me. I mean, like, my weight's never been stable. Like, I try really hard not to pay attention to it. Um, I only... I actually went like years without ever looking at a scale because it's just not something that I want to pay attention to. But the only reason I did it was because just in case things were fluctuating, I wanted to be able to know that because I think weight can be a big indicator of like actual health problems. So I just felt like it was something I needed to have, which is strange, but like I have to be an adult at some point. I can't ignore health things. Um, so I didn't do it for vanity reasons, but within the past couple of weeks, my digestive health has been all over the place, my face has been breaking out, and I've gained a bit of weight. And all of those things kind of together, I don't even know if they're related, but it has just kind of put me in a state where I don't 
feel good. It's strange because like my day-to-day -day habits haven't changed, like my eating hasn't changed. I've actually been working out more often. This summer, these past couple of months, I've been really good about like at least doing some form of activity every day, especially because like I sit in a desk for work, like I sit at a computer, so I try like if the weather's nice, I'll take like a 30-40 minute walk outside. I've been trying to keep my home cleaner and more picked up, which means I've been running around, going up and down stairs, um, standing up, crouching down, like, doing all of the physical activity things. It's weird that I've been doing that and I feel like I've been living a fairly healthy, good adult life, but still these health issues are happening and, you know, and then because I have anxiety, like the thought of making it more than it is, is a tendency for me. And I don't want to, uh, you know, make it more than it is. I don't want to make it a big issue when it's not. I don't want to give it too much validity to where I feel like I have to go to the doctor and I'm worried something serious is wrong with me. And then I get in my head and if you have anxiety, you understand. <laughs> Sorry to start this off on kind of a heavy note. I, I don't want it to be heavy. I don't want it to be serious or a big deal but my brain makes it a big deal, so what can I do? All right, I have some work to get to today before my weekend really begins, so gotta go do that, unfortunately. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Today is Saturday, and I apologize for kind of leaving you hanging yesterday. I ended up not doing much. I just like worked out and finished a book and watched some TV, so not a super exciting Friday evening. But I finished the book, um, The Hate You Give, which I've had on my shelf forever and I haven't like gotten around to reading it. Um, so I finally finished that book, it was really good, and I started reading To All the Boys I've Loved Before, which if you watched my last video, no. If you watched my video two videos ago, <laughs> something like that, recently, and on my blog, I've been talking about it literally everywhere that I can. That movie was so good. So I picked up the book at Barnes & Noble and I have been reading that since yesterday afternoon. I imagine it's one of those books that I'll get through very, very quickly because it's just one of those like contemporary, like YA romance kind of um, books that you just kind of like speed read through. Um, thankfully there are three of them. <laughs> so actually this morning before I head to my family's house, I'm going to go to Barnes and Noble and a couple of other places and pick up some just like errand things that I need to either take home or I want to have when I get back. Um, I got this shirt at Madewell, by the way. I'm also wearing these um, Aritzia shorts that I wear all the time. I don't know that I'll be able to talk to you anymore today just because I'll be home and that would be weird. But um, I'll definitely see you more to let you know how my Labor Day weekend is going. Good morning. Today is Monday. It's Labor Day. So I have the day off of work today and my aim is to use it to kind of get done all those things that you kind of just put off, you know, over time. Like, I'm pretty good at keeping some things clean, but there are some things you just put off, like cleaning the stovetop and cleaning the microwave. I have two cats here. Mandy's hanging out over here. Um, and then over here we have little Miss Winnie. Goodness, what? Someone's not happy about Winnie being here, but I am very happy about Winnie being here. Hi, Winnie. We're about to have a showdown. What's happening? <gasps> Hi, girls. Winnie very much likes to follow Mandy around and Mandy very much dislikes it. So <laughs> this is the issue we have with the two of them in one home, but there's plenty of space for them to just leave each other alone. So yeah, I'm gonna try to get, sorry, I'm putting my shoes on, um, trying to get some stuff today, so I'm going to head out and run to Target and Kroger, and then I'm going to lock myself in here for the rest of the day. I just picked up this book. It's called The Power by Naomi Alderman, and it sounds really interesting. I don't remember where I heard about this. Um, looks like it was a big book in 2017 based on all the little sticker-like things on the front. But yeah, definitely check this out. I think I'm gonna read it next because I'm very excited about it. It sounds super interesting. I finished The Hate You Give. Did I mention that? I think I did. And now I'm reading the book version of To All the Boys I've Loved Before. And I'm gonna have to see if Target has the second one because I cannot find the second and the third books anywhere. Like I looked at Barnes and Nobles by me. Um, none of them have it. I looked on Amazon. I actually ordered them on Amazon and they're like, the third one's gonna come like 
beginning of next week and then the second one is put off like two or three weeks or something so they're like super out of stock everywhere so i'm gonna see if maybe i can find the second one somewhere close to me this is what happens when you jump on bandwagons everyone else is already on the bandwagon and there's just not enough room for you on the bandwagon one of my easiest like go-to weeknight dinners that only requires three things a sweet potato a chicken breast buffalo sauce and optional blue cheese dressing so ever since i made this the first time like a few weeks ago i've pretty much made it every week since um because it's so easy it's so simple and i really really like it even though i don't love sweet potato normally it's not like my favorite thing but together with like buffalo chicken it's just really good for some reason um i'll probably also make some broccoli on the side just to get some vegetables so it's a little after 5 30 and that's what we're gonna start doing in my nice fresh sheets <laughs> I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me in this video over my Labor Day weekend it's kind of a mismatched string of clips which I apologize um, anyway I'm just gonna shower and maybe read and then go to bed and cuddle with my cats if any of them ever come and hang out with me make sure to go check out my blog website. Um, I've been posting quite a bit on there recently, so I have a few new posts from the past couple of weeks that you probably haven't seen. Um, and there will be another one out on Friday after this video goes up. Hopefully. <laughs> I edited a video today. I cleaned places. Not everywhere I wanted to, but um, I washed my sheets. I did some laundry. I cleaned up quite a bit. Um, so as far as I'm concerned, we made good progress, and we're being good adults today. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to going back to work tomorrow, but you know, I gotta be an adult. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Um, I hope you guys had a great Labor Day weekend as well, and I will see you very soon with another video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.